I'm an expert in weight loss and weight gain. I had a uh, gastric bypass 16 years ago. I walked into the uh, surgical suite at 377 pounds. I had lost, I think, about 13 pounds before walking in there, so I may have been over 400 at my heaviest. The first year after gastric bypass, I lost 120 pounds. The following year, I lost another 20 pounds. After that, I gained back like 70. And it's been a struggle of up and down ever since. But my set point seems to be around 250. And now I am once again losing. After over a decade of a plateau. Food is pleasure. F food is pleasurable. If your life isn't sweet, you'll crave sweets. If your life isn't savory, you'll crave salty things. I know that because that's how I was. It's so much easier to reach for our old friend and companion. Food, snacks, desserts. Then to create a life that we love, where we don't have to constantly be putting pleasure foods into our mouths. I understand the struggle. So what do we do? We want to take off weight. Why? It's healthier to be lighter. You could argue that with me if you want. If I've ever uh, led you to believe that I was part of the fat acceptance movement, look, I'm at the people love movement. You are worthy. You are worthy of respect and care and the best life has to offer. But to specifically say that fat is good I can't, based on my own experience, type 2 diabetes, joint pain, injuries, it has not been a pleasant experience to be severely overweight. And now that I'm down to the lowest weight I've been ever since the, uh, the surgery, what was I this morning? 231, which is kind of a big deal for me to be that low. Now, for a doctor, you know, they'll be like, oh, well, you've got to lose more. I'm like, I know, I know, I know. I'm still before picture, I suppose. But that's a big deal. And how am I doing it? Well, this 30-day video a day challenge is helping because it's meaningful to me. Teaching is very meaningful for me. I became a, a professor. Now, I'm an adjunct professor, meaning I'm part-time. I work at a university and a community college, and I teach at an adult school. I like teaching. It fulfills me. It's turning my life experiences into wisdom and then helping other people to have success and happiness and peace and health in their lives. I love that. And I, uh, I fell off with that for a while. I was just tired and sad. I mean, I was still teaching, but... I lost my motivation. So how did I get it back? It's just, um, if not now, when kind of attitude. And I got back into my spiritual practice every morning without fail, study and prayer. For you, it might be meditation. It might be yoga. It might be prayer. I highly recommend it. You pray for help, you get it. That's my experience. You don't have to agree but I know it worked for me. Uh, I do have, uh, I have a life hack for this. I always say, I don't know, there's no life hack, just power through it. Well, no, there's a life hack for this. You want to stay on your diet? Make sure you have zero point foods in the house. That's a Weight Watchers term. I'm not doing Weight Watchers, but I like the term because it doesn't mean zero calorie. It means uh, it's very low impact calorically. So celeries and lettuces and mushrooms and those uh, new miracle noodle things. You find them next to the tofu in the produce aisle. You know, 20 calories, zero carbs. Because I like to munch and crunch. Pickles. Oh, pickles are my friend. Hot broth. And then if I really, really, really just need that food, um, turkey pepperoni works for me. 
uh, any kind of uh, tuna, tuna, but I, I don't use mayonnaise because of the soybean oil. It makes my joints stiff. So a little dollop of um, mustard and a dollop of, what do you call Sour cream. See, I can do the thinky with the brainy. Keep food on hand. Don't say, well, I just won't buy any food and then I'll, I'll be for, no, don't do that. Keep foods in the house that support whatever eating plan you're on. Whatever you're trying to do, gain weight, lose weight, maintain type two diabetes, do it. Keep those foods in the house. Keep them plentiful in the house so that you're never so hungry that you pull over to a fast food joint or you eat something cheap and easy in a cellophane wrapper. You're worth more. You can do better. I did better. So today I'm 231. I'm really proud of that. As I said, that is the lowest I've been since the weight loss surgery in 2006. And it was not the easy way out as people accused me of. Oh, weight loss surgery is the easy way out. Yeah, no, it was not. The surgery almost killed me. Let me see if I could link a video of how it almost killed me and the pain I was in and the depression I fell into. Afterward, you took away my drug of choice. You know, my father was very hard on me. Oh, she went through all that. She's not losing weight. I'm like, dad, I lost 30 pounds. Well, you can't see it. Well, cause I weighed almost 400 pounds. Yeah. You're not going to see it. So I took it upon myself. I'm like, okay, easy way out. No, I'm going to prove you wrong. And that is often my most motivating attitude is to prove someone wrong. Uh, and it wasn't just my dad. I don't mean to come down on my poor father. He died in 2020. But a lot of people were like, oh, that gas, oh, that bypass. Oh, it's the easy way out. And I blogged. I'm like, oh, yeah? Watch. I blogged about it. And I worked out at the gym six days a week. And I blogged every day for almost 10 years. So the book, Diary of a Fat Girl, How I Lost 140 Pounds and Learned to Love Myself After Weight Loss Surgery, is that first year after the gastric bypass. I kept track. So now the next book from wheelchair to warrior. Well, I spent two years in a wheelchair. So after losing the weight, the, the crushing uh, weight of my body just wore out my knees and that will be a very interesting story. I will get to writing that, but right now I'm doing my video a day and I'm motivated to do that because I'm very fulfilled teaching. Uh, I'm an adjunct professor at a university and a community college. I also teach at adult schools around Northern New Jersey and I teach here online. I want my experiences to be worthwhile to you. So you know that you could do it too. Whatever it is that I overcame, you can overcome too. So if I can give you some information and inspiration, it thrills me to do so. So thank you for watching. There will be another one tomorrow. How am I doing on time? I try to keep it under 10 minutes so it's shareable. Well, technically I have another minute or so. Get your zero point foods if you're trying to lose weight and keep them in the house. Whatever it is that you know you can eat without it having a lot of consequence health wise, keep it in the house. Understand that. Yeah, I've been using food for pleasure and, and find fulfilling things to do with your time. So you're not craving things at the end of the day. All right. You want a little something at the end of the day? I made a nice big uh, sugar-free jello for myself. It, whatever works for you. Sugar-free candies. I don't know. What do you like? Baked apples, a little cinnamon on top. Love yourself enough to have those things in the house. If weight loss is your thing, make sure you have filling satisfying foods that will promote your weight loss. I do. We'll see what happens next way and I'll let you know. Thank you for watching. Please like subscribe, leave a comment. It helps me. I want to get a message, a positive message out to people who watch me that you can be at your best health and happiness. And I want to contribute to that. So, Thank you. Give me a thumbs up somewhere, somehow. It matters to me. P.S. Isn't this beautiful? A lady friend of mine with impeccable taste in jewelry 
gave this to me and I absolutely love it. Thanks.